Can you tell me a little bit about uh, what you think Second Street will look like when all of this is over? I think we have to t we have to reimagine what Second Street is going to look like, and it's going to take a little bit of time because as people are allowed to come back out, there's a certain portion of the population that's not going to immediately return, um, let alone the restrictions that will be in place on, on our physical plants. So what we're going to have to do is, as a, a restaurant row, is to build that demand back up over time. Um, and that's going to take a lot of big ideas and a lot of things that people haven't seen yet so far to make them to give them the overriding thing of not just getting off their couch, but actually coming out into public again and and wanting to experience being around other people. What are your specific plans that you have uh, preparing for that? One of the things that, that we're looking at doing is, um, in, in the meantime, once we get into the green zone, is creating a common area downtown. Um, we're looking at Walnut Street, where we put out just tons of picnic tables, make, make it a very comfortable feel. But you'll be able to go onto an app, order food from any of the restaurants downtown, and have it delivered directly to your table. The hard part about the way we're set up is we're on a business model where we're expecting to be inside the four walls. Now that's going to be restricted. What we want to do is be able to expand outside of our four walls to make people feel comfortable and keep a social distancing going forward. So what we want to do is create a common area where you can go and grab a table and get food from any one of 10 or 12 places. So you still get the experience of being out, of socializing, but we have the social distancing between the tables and be able to help each and every one of the restaurants downtown. What will it take to survive on Second Street? Second Street has to collectively survive. Um, there's a couple different age demographics in play here. Second Street from 6 until 10 is a little bit older demographic and, and on the food end that's going to be a little bit tougher to, to, to rebound from. Um, the late night stuff, that's basically 21 to 29 year olds. They're the ones that probably have the least concern about, about being out and being around other people and, and they have a need to socialize. So I think that part, the, the late night will bounce back and bounce back quickly. Our challenge is the people over the age of 29, getting them comfortable and back down here and spending their money.